so first of all if you have the game on xbox app or microsoft store so if you have the game over here or microsoft store in that case you can follow the steps from this video i have made a separate video on this so you can copy this link open this link in a browser and over here you can see i made a separate video on this so you can perform the steps from here now the next step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game next step is to delete the game cache folder now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder and then open the local folder now over here you can see game loft folder open this folder open the game folder and over here you can see the cache folder make a right click and then you can delete this folder once this is deleted you can try to launch the game once again now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now find the game exe file now once you find the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game from here so make a double click try launching the game from here if that does not work again go to properties and then put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work again over here put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still the game is not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to install files tab i'm sorry go to general tab now in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove this you can empty this and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender avg mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage the ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to app and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder again open the game folder select the game exe file then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select a product type for me it's geforce experience so i'll select geforce now for product series select your series so make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this is game ready driver now click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, run the exe file so click on download once again
and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance then click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete once this is done then you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have any kind of external devices usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller connected sometimes we have extra controller or dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close all the third party services and application disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the general tab and then turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have any kind of other overlay application running so close all the overlay application or you can turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in geforce experience so close all the overlay application and then check also close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner river tuner so if you have any kind of overclocking application close it and then check to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to the system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update your windows this is important so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here scroll down and then over here you will see x86 and x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 so click on it now if you see the repair option you have to click on repair once the download is complete run this exe file and then if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download x64 file as well and once the download is complete run this exe file as well now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once both are installed then you will see a restart option make sure that you restart your computer after this after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory now to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so 
and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49151 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game First of all, uninstall the game. Now go to make a right click, then select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder. Once you have uninstalled the game, go to the game installation folder. And then delete this game folder. After you uninstall, delete this game folder. Now once this is deleted again go to this PC C drive and then open users username app data local and then over here you will see game loft you can make a right click and then click on delete. Now once this is deleted then restart you can get it. and after the system restart you can reinstall the game reinstall the game try reinstalling the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to another drive like D drive or E drive, in that case install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case you can try installing the game to another SSD and then check. Now the last step is to you can switch like if you have the game on Steam, in that case you can uninstall the game the way I've showed you. Uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, you can install the game from Microsoft Store. So in Microsoft Store, you can search the game and then you will see the install option. You can try to install it from Microsoft Store or you can even try to install it from Xbox app and then try to launch the game from here. Now, if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store and you're facing the problem, in that case, you can uninstall the game from Store or Xbox app and then you can go to Steam. Uh, you can launch Steam and then in Store, you can search for the game in the search box and then you can install the game from so you can find the game in Steam and then you will see the install option in my case it is already installed install it from Steam and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel